Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. Didn't you used to be... Didn't you... My name is Jerry. I've seen, I've seen your show, Keith. And he's going to teach me how to find a beer to enjoy. Oh, okay. What kind of drinks do you like in general? In general, carbonated drinks. Uh, I'm not a big beer drinker, but like I said, I've seen the show, and I think you can help me out. Okay. Well, let's get started. Let's do it. Let's start with uh, one that we did on one of our earlier shows, Rar's Ugly Pug. So tell me more about yourself. I'm uh, 28, rounding to 30, fearing, fearing, uh, fearing the big 3-0, and um, like I said, trying to find a beer to like. Have you had uh, other beers before? Lagers? I have not. This is a dark lager from Rar and Sons, which Chris and I went to visit in Fort Worth uh, over spring break. It's not a good time to go to breweries because they're all busy. Oh, I can imagine that. So, I'm going to do a cheers and give it a taste. Salud. Smell it first. I'm going to smell it and see what it... Not bad. Because <clears throat> all the beers are going to have different uh, flavors and stuff. Different what aromas. What makes a dark beer dark? The malt that they use. So how does that taste compared to other beers that you've had? Flavorful, less watery, there's like more to it. <clears throat> Do you like it better than, what are some, well, I guess you've had some of the typical beers from big brewing companies that we sure. won't get into. Sure. Does this uh, compare favorably to those, or? It has that beer taste to it, but like I said, it, it, it actually tastes better. Like I said, less less watery, more flavor, more flavor to it. Doesn't, it leaves a pretty good aftertaste in the mouth. Okay. And then, one that you could like, maybe? Possibly. Okay, and then let's try another one. Do it. Next, we've got another one that we've done earlier, which is uh, Dirty Bastard by Founders. And this is a Scotch Ale, which is going to be sweeter with fewer hops. Hops are what make beer bitter, although probably the American beers that you've had uh, won't have had that as much. So we're purposely avoiding the bitter beers. So I think you, you'll probably enjoy this. You like things like ice cream, and this one's not as dark. No, it's a lighter color. This is an ale as opposed to a lager. Bitter. Bitter. Better or bitter? Bitter. Bitter. Better. Bitter. Better. Maybe we should have gone with the old chub. Why does this taste funny? Funny how? It's this sweeter, it's got more malt in it. Uh, that's fine. The sweeter. Maybe I can use, confuse the word bitter with sweeter. So sweeter. I, right, I have to go with this one so far. Okay. And the difference between these, this is a lager. Lagers are brewed at a cooler temperature and the fermentation takes place at the bottom. The ales are brewed at a warmer temperature and the fermentation takes part at the top. Mm -hmm. So you can see the fermentation in the yeast occurring. Okay, let's go on to the uh, third beer. And this one, if you like things like chocolate milk, this is a milk-based, this is a stout, this milk-based, which is a uh, the sugars in it, normally you would brew with 
regular sugar or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. In this case, sugar comes from the actual milk. So they're using milk sugars. Wow. You'll notice this is very dark compared to the others. This had almost zero head to it. So smell it. Not very much. It should be fairly mild. Very smooth. Dark. Smooth. Dark. Good, better, better than what you've had with other beers. I still like the first one better. As far as beer, like I said, I've never been a big beer drinker just because I don't like the taste of beer. This first one, it has like the traditional beer taste to it, but it doesn't taste that bad. It's not as cheap tasting as your traditional big name beer like out of the bottle or can. This one I just straight up don't like. Oh. It's too sweet or too bitter. Whatever bitterly that. sweet. Bitterly sweet. Bittersweet. Yeah. And this one doesn't taste bad. But it's got leaves a funny aftertaste though. Mm. So out of these three, I said I'd, I'd definitely go with the first one. Okay. So then for Chris's beer of the day, we're going to go with the uh, Rars Black Lager. Chris's beer of the day? Chris's? <laughs> I'll allow it. But before we do that, especially since you like this one, Cheers. So good? So good. Are you going to burp or something? Chris always burps. Not yet. You're no Chris. I'm not Chris. Am I going to check this one too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's Chris. <laughs> Look, this one even left like a residue on the glass. Yeesh. <laughs> no burps, bro. There you go. You're no Chris. No. Okay. Well, that ends another exciting episode of Beer Bros. Uh, tune in next week when. Chris and I will be back. Back at it again. Thank you. Now we... Let's get this big one out of the way. Thank you, RTX, for the bag, by the way. Um, first one is... Sorry, pickles. <laughs>